Please welcome back to the mountain stage, Bela Fleck and Abigail Washburn. had the concerto, which was a musical baby. Now you're going to have an actual <laughs> baby, and Abigail Washburn, uh, who that's are married, right. are about to have their first child, and that's uh, that's going to be a big adventure too. It is a big two adventure. great musicians, and uh, this will be uh, a great uh, composition here. Well, honestly, um, that's part of why we're here is we want to start finding ways to be together more, especially around having a baby, yeah. having a child, and so we're going to start playing more as a duo. And we're just cracking the door open to that yeah. idea right now, and this is one of the first gigs. Well, that's the. Mm -hmm. the the world would certainly welcome that. I mean, anything Bailey wants to do. But, you know, Abigail's been on the show herself in various oh, incarnations, yeah. and you guys with the Sparrow Quartet. So it's a, it's a, it is one that uh, seems to be made in heaven. When I'm gonna run, run, run. about playing with Abby is so special is first of all there's a very warm feeling about playing with your partner and that the two of us when we go out and play and, and it works it, we feel really you know it's like hey yeah, yeah. we did that it's yeah. really nice but taking it apart from that very personal part of it uh, I think she's a wonderful singer and she is I've listened to a lot of music over the years and I rarely collaborate with vocalists but not only that there aren't so many of them that I'm really really excited about and one of the things before we even got together I remember I, I was handed a a tape of her music and I was listening to it in my car and I got caught speeding because I, I just started driving faster and faster going I really like this girl singing you know completely aside from before you knew ever, her yeah before I knew her and uh, and it's nice and she's very rooted she has this yeah. so in a weird way uh, I'm not really collaborating with any bluegrass musicians but I have a real um, a love of traditional music including bluegrass and with Abby I feel really comfortable going back and playing some really old uh, mountain music and, and also this music from China that she does. And then there's a lot of room for me as an accompanist to do a lot of things that I don't get to do in, in, with all these hotshot players. There's so many musicians, we're all fighting for space, showing off, none of that in this music. So yeah, no. there's a lot of really beautiful things about it, just as, on a musical level for me. Yeah, she talked to me before and said that now that the baby is close to coming, you guys are really in, enjoying getting back into the deep roots and, and that whole thing that all yeah. that symbolizes. Well, it is, maybe so, because I think we're both more interested in doing more traditional music than we expected we would do when we got together to do to do it, to play music, which we've been waiting to do for a long time. Yeah. So um, that's an interesting turn of, of events and one that I'm really happy about. Welcome back here, and I'm sure if you got a chance to see them together, it's it's going to be uh, hopefully more in the future. It's a rare occurrence now, but in the future, once the little one comes and they want us to be, he, he's not going to be going out and leaving the baby at home. I guarantee you that. I'll tell him that. Right we'll be looking for ways to do more and more, <laughs> and we already have quite a bit planned. Go see them. It's a great show together, and uh, yeah, obviously they're both great instruments, instrumentalists, and uh, well, Abigail's a great singer too. So thanks for coming back. Thanks. Good seeing you. It's a really interesting thing to be uh, seven months pregnant and play the open back banjo. It essentially becomes a 
a helmet <laughs> for your belly. I can only imagine it's like a an arena rock concert in there for the little man. <laughs> <laughs>